You're with Auburn women's basketball coach Terry Williams, Flinoy. Coach Flo, first to talk about the win over UTC, first of three SEC teams to to beat them this year and then keep a pretty explosive offense to 40 points. Yeah, I thought our team played really well. Um, we jumped out on them right in the beginning. Um, our kids really um, upped the tempo on our press a little bit. And then I thought it was going to be a little tough to try to trap them and, and get them to turn the ball over because they, their press offense was really spread out. But I thought our get, kids did a really good job of timing and knowing when to go for the trap. And Hasina Muhammad and Tyree Sanner both had three steals and really fueled the offense um, with some transition points as well. Let's talk about what, what they did in the game, and particularly Hasina on the defensive end with the steal. She's been racking them up lately. Yeah, both Ty and Hasina are both long, lanky, athletic wings, you know, which, you know, when they extend, they're very hard to shoot over. And I thought that gave um, UT Chattanooga, their three-point shooters, a little um, tough look. You know, that wasn't as clear <laughs> when somebody's coming straight at you with a hand up in your face. I think Hasina might have blocked the first three that was taken of the game, and that just kind of set the tone right there. Um, and I thought Hasina did a really good job anticipating and getting those steals. But honestly, most of some of her steals come from Ty's aggressiveness at the top of the press. And Blanche Alverson with her first double double of the season, um, getting in there, banging around on the boards, and giving you a few points as well. Yeah, Blanche did it. Anytime we can get Blanche in there to rebound, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> you know, and she she's a, she's our four. You know, she's not your typical type of four. You know, she's more of the finesse outside shooting type four. So, you know, when we can get Blanche in there and rebound it, it definitely gives us a boost on the boards. All right, and you have Jacksonville coming in last game before you get a little bit of a break. And just talk about what to expect out of the Dolphins. Jacksonville, I mean, they really, you know, really it's five guards, you know, they all can put the ball on the floor, they can attack the basket, you know, which for us sometimes become somewhat of a challenge trying to defend that um, penetration. So we're really going to have to be, you know, on our, um, you know, get down in a stance. We can't be on our heels falling back, you know, because they're really going to attack us um, off the bounce, you know. Pretty good team. I mean, they're scoring a lot of points. I mean, I think they're almost, almost about 68 points a game. I mean, so they're putting some points up on the board, and they got about – three kids and double figures and very close to almost having four. Dwindling down, you have two non-conference games left. Just talk about, you know, what are some things in these last two games you're really wanting to get into place before you start conference play? You know, it would be nice to actually be able to go back and watch film after the game and not see so many of the same mistakes, <laughs> you know. So we're, right now we're just trying to eliminate um, us doing the same mistake over and over and over and trying to get better at that because that's really the only way that, you know, you really know that the team is improving when we stop making the same mistakes over. <laughs>